Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be just a little different than my typical video. I am going to do an unbagging video and you might say that's pretty typical for you and I would say yes you're right it is I always get disappointed though when my items come in a bag generally but this time I'm not disappointed because I know what's inside is just fine so if it's not a bag what is it these are my favorite shoes in the whole world. I wear them year round. I have 12 pairs and I think there are two pairs in here with one more coming on the way. I found a sale and I just couldn't resist. I basically replaced two of the pairs I have because I have virtually worn them out. And I mean, I'm talking lots and lots of wear. It wasn't that they wore out fast or anything like that, but these two of them are replacing ones that I have, and then one is a new color. And two of the three that I bought, one, like I said, is still on the way, are on sale on Amazon. And so I will link those in the description box, but you're probably thinking, why won't you open the darn bag already? Come on. Well, I better get to it because I have to go pick up my son here in just a minute, he's at freshman orientation. Yes, you heard that right. That is just nuts to me. Freshman orientation. He is in high school. What? How can I have a kid in high school? And my youngest is in junior high. So, oh, I just got goosebumps. It's just so hard to imagine that my babies are in junior high and high school. Anyhow, I'm gonna go pick him up and we're gonna go out to lunch, I think, unless he's so tired when I pick him up that he wants to sleep. And if that is the case, then I'll be back home sooner than I anticipate. So let me pull out the first pair. Okay, so this is the new color. I don't have this color. So just for reference, I am generally a size eight and a half or nine, and I go down in these to an eight. You do have to be careful if you order these from Belk because I ordered what I thought was my size and their sizing is off. So I can't remember which way it went, but you definitely have to be careful ordering with them. So I'm a size eight or EU 39. These shoes are Hey Dudes. They come in a multitude of styles and colors, and I've got so many different ones. This pair is in linen. It's got like a kind of a crosshatch pattern on it. And then the inside, I think it's really pretty. It almost reminds me of a toile, but it's floral. But I love that. So, of course, I doused these in Colonel Carbon Pro or some sort of a leather fabric protector, and they are washable. So, I throw the whole shoe in the washing machine, I pull out the insole, and I wash them. And by the way, this is memory foam, and this is like really foamy, squishy too. So, these shoes literally feel like wearing a cloud. They're known for being sort of like a flip-flop of sorts, but not. And what I like about these when I wear them in the summer is that they keep my heels from cracking as much because I used to always wear flip-flops and now I wear these instead and my skin on my feet is much softer and less brittle. The past couple of years, I haven't had cracked heels because I've been wearing these shoes. So I have a couple of different styles. And as soon as I show you this last pair in this bag, and again, I have one more coming. So these two pairs are the ones that were on sale on Amazon. I'm gonna just rip these open. I know I'm not gonna send them back. They retail for around $54.99 to $59.99, and I got both of these pairs for about $45 after all the fees, and they're on Amazon for about that price too. This one, the color is called White Nut, and I think it feels like a linen too. I can't remember how they describe it. They have stretchy elastic bands here. This one doesn't. I have found you can adjust these by moving the knot in or adding an extra knot to make them fit just a little bit tighter. And so I do that. 
I've also found that my toe goes to the end on these to start with, but because they're fabric, they stretch just a little bit. So don't be discouraged if they're slightly tight when you first get them. They will stretch out. Just be patient. I would rather have them be fitted about perfectly to my feet than have them too big and slipping off when I walk. But anyway, this is the color White Knit, and this is my most worn color in the summertime. They go so well with like khaki pants or mostly khaki capris. I mean, they just, they're amazing. I love, love, love them. And look how pretty. I wasn't sure I would like the pink on the inside, but it doesn't really stand out at all. And it sort of makes me happy when I put them on. So let me just show you a couple of the other styles that I have. So the ones I was showing you, those are both called the Wendy. These are called the Brit, I believe. If I'm not right, I'll correct myself here on the screen. But these are almost like a corduroy type material. Super soft and they have this fuzzy around the edges. These look so cute with jeans in the winter and I also wear them with joggers too. I've got two colors. I've got this color and I can't remember the name of it, but I think it might be white nut too. It just looks different than the other. And then I have this one. This is more of like a charcoal color and I love both of these. So like I said, I have a lot of them. This one is in more of a woven type material and it is super comfortable. And I love this pair just as much as all of them. In fact, they, they go awesome with jeans. It's nice that they're a little darker so that they don't get dirty quite as easily or show the dirt quite as easily. And these are all Wendy shoes, except for the ones with fur that I showed you. This one is, I think this one was called a Jersey material but it is so stinking soft and it has that cute little snake skin detail on the back. I try to keep these clean, but of course the soles are gonna get just a little bit of dirt if I wear them all the time. But whenever they start to smell like my feet, I wash them and it's super easy and they don't smell anymore, it goes away. The only pair that I have essentially worn out, and it's not that I have worn out the shoe, but is this pair of my original white nut they just don't look quite as pretty and clean as they did at the start. I've washed them and there's just a little bit of dirt that's not going to come off these anymore. But I've probably washed them eight to ten times. Look at how dirty the sole is. And they, they came out beautifully every time up until like this last time. It's like finally the dirt caught up with them. And so I plan to still wear these but just wear them whenever I... I'm going somewhere like a Renaissance festival or an amusement park, and I don't want to worry about getting my shoes dirty. And that way I can save the other pair for when I want to be just a bit fancier. So I also have them in this suede color with like a corduroy on the heel. This is the pair I'm wearing today. These are super, super soft. And I actually have that combo in two colors. You're probably like, this lady's the crazy shoe lady, but this is the other one. I don't wear this color near as much as the gray. The gray combined with the tan on the heel just seems to go with absolutely everything. This black pair is the other pair I have coming that I haven't got yet, but it's exactly the same. It's just a backup pair because I do wear the black so, so much. And when I saw them on sale for $45, I couldn't pass it up because I love them that much. I have found that I can order them on Belk and get a $10 off sometimes because they'll send me $10 off coupons. And so that's how I got this pair. I think these are really cute too. They're neutral, but they have a little pop of pink and then of course a chambray color on the inside. And I've worn this combo a fair amount. They go with a lot, unless you're wearing a pattern on top. And the last but not least are three pairs that I have. These are probably my least favorite of the bunch. They're supposed to be waterproof, but they just, I don't know, they look, they look kind of like, oh, I, I want to say like grandma shoes. And I'm not that far off from being a grandma. I've got a kid who is in ninth grade now, but... This style that's made out of this somewhat waterproof leather, it is just not my favorite. I do like, out of the three pairs I have, I like this color the best. And I think this one may be, again, that white net. There's just different variations of that color. 
but I may be wrong. If I'm wrong and I can figure it out, I'll put what color this is in, well, just here at the bottom of the video. But this pair I, I do think is cute. It has like a little bit of a fabric edge where it touches your foot that makes it super comfortable. And this is my least favorite pair, but I still wear these because on a rainy day, these keep my feet dry. They have a little bit of leopard right there, and then they have the all black sole. I feel like the ones with the all black sole tend to make my feet look really big. And again, just the style of these, I don't feel like is as flattering as the fabric ones that I've showed you, but I like having my feet dry and I like this, the feel of this style on my foot. So they're still part of my collection for that reason. So anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this different type of video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. I just had to share with you my very favorite shoes because if you haven't tried Hey Dudes, you're missing out. They are amazing and they're like, they're not even that expensive. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign out. I'm Erin, I'm the Handbag Housewife. I'm also on Instagram. My name there's the same. It's the at symbol, then the Handbag Housewife, if you wanna search for me. You can DM me on Instagram, or you can also send me an email at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.